Whether you've lived in Alabama for years or you've just moved to the state, you may not be aware of some of its best secrets. If you're planning a visit to the state, you'll want to keep these 20 things in mind. Sweet Home Alabama Sweet Home Alabama is a 2002 romantic comedy that has stood the test of time. It was one of the most viewed films of its day, and it has even become a classic. The film was directed by Andy Tennant, who also helmed Hitch and Ever After. Reese Witherspoon starred as a young fashion designer relocating to New York. However, she ends up getting married to the rich son of the city's mayor. Sweet Home Alabama has its faults, but overall it's a fun movie. There's plenty of humor and a bit of romance to keep the audience entertained. Despite being a rom-com, there are plenty of good supporting characters. In addition to Witherspoon, the film stars Fred Ward, Ethan Embry, Dakota Fanning, and Gene Smart. While some of these names aren't household names, their performances are memorable. Another notable thing about Sweet Home Alabama is that it sparked some television rock show offers. David Tennant has written a treatment for a sequel. Unlike the original, which featured Reese Witherspoon, the sequel would focus on the character's child going to college. Aside from being a rom-com, Sweet Home Alabama is a nice tribute to the South. One of the songs is a cover of the classic Leonard Skinner song Sweet Home Alabama. This riff was created by Ed King, who was a Skinner guitarist in the early 1970s. The film isn't perfect, but it does stand the test of time. The soundtrack contains songs from country star Dolly Parton, pop superstar Jewel, Sheryl Crow, and a few others. While there aren't any new surprises, Sweet Home Alabama is still a fun, romantic movie to watch. Red Hill Salamander The Red Hill Salamander, Thognathus hubricti, is a rare and endemic salamander whose range is limited to a small section of the Gulf Coastal Plain in southern Alabama. Its habitat is on forested slopes, cliff sides, and shallow moist, and silty ravines. It is the largest long salamander in the world and is the official state amphibian of Alabama. Because of its habitat, it is listed as federally threatened. Red Hill salamanders are endemic to a region in Alabama that extends from southern Georgia to the Mobile Tombigbee River area. They are found in a narrow band of limestone formations in the south-central part of the state. Approximately 25,500 hectares of habitat are currently used by the species. This includes 4,514 hectares of optimum habitat. As an endangered species, the Red Hill salamander faces many challenges. One of these is habitat fragmentation. Salamanders need a moist environment to survive. Commercial timber harvests and clear cutting can degrade this habitat. In addition, the Red Hill Salamander is slow to reproduce. Despite this, scientists continue to study the population and monitor its health. To ensure the survival of the Red Hill Salamander, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service has developed the Habitat Conservation Plan HCP. This plan aims to conserve 6,400 acres of salamander habitat. Some 4,514 hectares of optimum and suitable but suboptimal habitats have been designated as refugia. A major concern is habitat fragmentation, which is a common problem in the Red Hills region. It occurs when landowners clear-cut the tops of their slopes, and when feral pigs, who eat salamanders, dig up the salamanders. To protect the habitat of the Red Hill salamander, private landowners, and wildlife officials work together to protect the land. The Alabama chapter of the Nature Conservancy acquired 4,376 acres in Monroe County in 2010. Mountain High Outfitters has supported Wild South's efforts to preserve the Red Hills salamander habitat. Bellingrath Gardens Bellingrath Gardens is one of the most beautiful sites in Alabama. This 65-acre estate garden and home are a National Historic Site. It is located on the Fowl River in South Mobile County. This historic home is open year-round. Visitors can take a self-guided tour or join a guided walk. The House Museum features the original furnishings of Bessie and Walter Bellingrath. Bellingrath Gardens was originally a fishing camp. When the family purchased land, 
they hired architect George B. Rogers to create a remodeled bell camp. They also created a formal garden. The gardens are landscaped with annual blooms. There are layers of plantings, including boxwoods, flowering perennials, and various types of grass. You will find narcissus and snapdragons during the winter months. Bellingrath Garden's Magic Christmas and Lights is one of the most spectacular holiday displays on the Gulf Coast. From Thanksgiving to New Year's Eve, the gardens are decorated with more than 3 million lights. The Bellingrath home was converted into a museum in 1956. It still contains all of the furniture and artifacts that Bessie and Walter Bellingrath owned. In addition to the home, visitors can explore the gardens. Bellingrath Gardens is open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Admission is less than $16 for adults and $10 for children. Throughout the year, the gardens hold special events. For instance, in 2022, the Magic Christmas in Lights will run from Thanksgiving through New Year's Eve. The gardens are a must-see. During the holidays, the gardens are illuminated with over 1,000 set pieces. Throughout the year, the Bellingrath Gardens and Home offer educational programs. For example, every Wednesday is a gardening series. Additionally, there is a self-guided walking tour of the gardens. Mobile Bay Mobile, Alabama is known as the gateway to the Gulf. This city has a rich 300-year history and has several interesting places to visit. One of the most important naval engagements of the Civil War occurred here. During this battle, a Union fleet defeated the Confederate Navy. This victory boosted Abraham Lincoln's chances of re-election. Mobile is also home to the largest public tennis facility in the world. Here, you can play on over 50 courts. Mobile is also the birthplace of America's original Mardi Gras. Several festivals and events are held here each year. These include a New Year's Eve street party with live entertainment. Another great thing to do is to visit the USS Alabama. This World War II battleship is permanently docked in Battleship Memorial Park in Mobile Bay. Visitors can take tours of the ship. You can also watch a sextant simulation and a container ship crane demonstration. If you want to learn more about the Civil War, visit the History Museum of Mobile. The exhibits are full of artifacts from the war. Also, there are civil rights movement and Native American history displays. Another fun activity to do in Mobile is to visit the Wharf of Wonder. The children can catch fish while exploring the ships. Children under 5 can enjoy this attraction. While in Mobile, be sure to visit the Dolphin Island Bird Sanctuary. This is located at the southwest entrance to Mobile Bay. Another must-see is the Bellingrath Estate. The estate was designed by local architect George B. Rogers. Besides its gorgeous gardens, the mansion features fine architecture. A final thing to remember is that Mobile, Alabama is the rainiest city in the United States. It gets about 5 feet of rain each year. Underground Caves One of the best places to see underground caves in Alabama is the Tumbling Rock Cave Preserve. It is a beautiful cave system that features stunning stalactite formations. This site is a good place to go if you're looking for a fun day out with the family. If you are more into hiking, you might want to check out three caves. This historic limestone mine is a unique site that's a popular tourist attraction. You can also try your hand at archery and gym panning. In addition, the surrounding backdrop of the mountains creates amazing visuals. Another great cave in Alabama is Fern Cave. It is considered a sacred ground for the Cherokee people. The cave is only accessible with a special permit. Also, it is a protected wildlife refuge. DeSoto Caverns is one of the most beautiful cave systems in the United States. It's been a family property for five generations. Despite its age, the cave is still in good condition. Visiting a cave can be dangerous. Falling rocks and flooding are two of the main risks. A rescue team must be prepared to help anyone in need. Many special events take place throughout the year. One of the most popular is International Archaeology Day. This is a weekend of tours and activities. These are designed to bring historical awareness and critical thinking skills. 
Many of the Alabama caves are located in the northern part of the state. They were formed by water etching into soluble bedrock. However, they have not been damaged by ice. Cathedral Cavern State Park is an excellent cave system that offers a variety of rooms. You can expect to spend around 90 minutes on a tour.